Alpha Banker Psalm Association. I would like to welcome our guest to what is now your 7th annual Lord Craig Anthem <laughs> Parade and Service. We are halfway through your decade of Union of Centenaries and having almost completed what was always going to be our most pivotal year, we can reflect today on the impact James Craig and the Unionist leaders had on the shaping of our country. We give thanks to them, for they are responsible for the organisation and mass movement of Ulster men and women against Home Rule, which in turn put the fire in the belly of our forefathers as they fought with unequal bravery against the foe in the Great War. <coughs> we also give thanks to those who fought for us and remember our fallen, we also, and also those who came home. We also remember the reasons they were there, not for adventure, medals or glory, but Ulster. All by for the UVF prayer. The Ulster Volunteer Prayer. O Heavenly Father, here we pray thee the prayer of thy children who call upon thee in their time of danger and difficulty. Forgive me, I pray thee, for all my sins which I have so often committed against thee in thought, word and deed. Make me ready to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Fill me with the Holy Spirit that I may know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly and follow thee more nearly. Strengthen and uphold me in all difficulties and dangers. Keep me faithful unto death, patient in suffering, calm in thy service and confident in the assurance that thou Lord will direct all things to the glory of thy name and the welfare of my church and country. Bless the King whom we serve and all the royal family. O Lord, grant me thy grace that no word or act of mine may be spoken or done rashly, hastily or with anger towards those who differ from me. Bless all my comrades in the Ulster Volunteer Force and make me loving and gentle obedient to my leaders and faithful to my promises and in thine own good time bring peace to Ireland. All this I beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. A statement from the Craig family. I am disappointed not to be able to be with you all on this special 79th anniversary day of my grandfather's passing away but I would like to say to you my very best wishes it has been an honour and a privilege to have been present in recent years at many events organised by Anchor Somme Association and I particularly like to thank Mark Jamison, the chairman, for his work in keeping my grandpa's memory alive. Sadly, grandpa died two years before I was born, but I have vivid memories of granny's stories about him, which very often contained animals or birds in the telling. One story was about Polly, grandpa's pet parrot, we went around with him on his shoulder and initiated all the noises that Grandpa made. Two particular noises were Grandpa's sneezes, which I gathered were rather loud, and also the noises death's door made when open. Polly would mimic these noises to the extent that nobody could tell whether it was Grandpa or Polly. Over the last five years I have travelled to Northern Ireland on many occasions and I have been so thrilled to see Grandpa's memory kept alive so actively over the years and I am sure Granny would have been amazed but very happy to have been a witness to many of the gatherings that have taken place including the exhibition I stage of family artefacts in Craig Avon House itself. My one regret is that Craig Avon House is still standing in a state of disrepair although there are so many people who would not only <coughs> love to see it return to its previous magnificence but who would, I am sure, be very happy to help in the process. I believe that Grandpa would have wished the house to be used as a centre of learning for future generations rather than left to deteriorate to the point that it will eventually be beyond repair. Surely this grand old building that has been such a historic has seen such <coughs> historic events unfold under its very roof and its and in its grounds should be maintained for, for posterity. I would encourage those with influence to bur to their to bear to do their utmost to keep the restoration of Craig Alvin House to the fore of people's thinking. I hope you'll be able to see you all 
in 2017. But meanwhile, I would like to wish you all a very, all the very best for Christmas and the coming new year. Thank you. Remember the heroes we won't see again. Remember their hardships, their dying, their pain. They went from the trenches or dry desert sands. Remember their courage as they all made their stand. Some lie where they fell on the battlefield ground, where the poppy fields grow in the war of his land. Valley with flower with well watered stems, watered by the blood of 10,000 brave men. Some lie in graveyards, row upon row, some names well remembered, while other unknown. To these men we owe much and can only repay, they are calling their deeds on remembrance day. They were in the poppy and bound the head, and remembering the sacrifice made by those brave men. For their lives was the price they were willing to pay, so we could be standing here free men today. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. <coughs> Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. <laughs>
to take this opportunity again to thank you all for coming. For Gavin Patterson Boys and Pride of the Raven, the Piper and the Bugler for playing in great style. The members of the East End Great War Society for, for, for their support. And last but not least our friend Stephen Goff, who I only, only invited yesterday to be our guest speaker. So Stephen being Stephen agreed we are, as always, we agreed to give us a helping hand, such as it has been from the year formed. Thank you Stephen. Thank you everybody. Party by the center. Quick march.